Hey YouTube, this is Twinkie1262 here, and today I have a uh, video for you. It is how to jailbreak your iOS 4 device for iPod Touch 2nd Gen users, non-MC, and iPhone 3G users. Now, I have I don't have the other devices, so I can't try, um, but I do not believe it works for uh, 3GS users and iPod Touch second or third gen users. Um, I do have a non-MC model of an iPod of my iPod Touch, so uh, non-MC models I do not believe work either. Um, so as you can see, uh, I do have my iPod Touch uh, second gen. As you can see, it's not like a normal device because it looks like an iPhone when clearly uh, as you can see up at the top of course it isn't power buttons here don't have a volume or don't have a switch there uh, no mic um, so uh, but I do have 4.0 on it as you see iBooks and also as you can see multitasking and also folders so but also if I slide over I have Cydia on there uh, so how do you get this well you're going to want to download two things the GM seed of iOS 4 uh, not hard to find just search Google for it you know search it on YouTube there's places that have it anyway uh, download the right uh, Golden Masters uh, firmware for your device and you want to download the beta version of Red Snow. I have it right here. It says this is for beta release. This is a beta release meant for 4.0 developers only. Do not worry about that. I'm going to kind of walk you through it and everything. Now this is meant to jailbreak the GM seed but this one <laughs> jailbreaks the full thing too. Um, of course because I have on my device so I'm going to hit browse here and you want to browse for your put my beta firmwares your gold masters firmware I'm going to open that up no this is not an MC model I'm going to hit next okay it contacts the uh, server not everything works on Cydia but some stuff does um so okay it downloads everything now you, the options you get install Cydia custom boot logo and custom recovery logo and enable multitasking and wallpaper because you guys that updated you know your uh, iPod touch second gen users and iPhone 3G users don't get background wallpaper or multitasking so, uh, let's see, so I'll check that off. Um, okay, I'll hit next. Okay, so it wants me to turn my device off. Okay, so my device is off. Okay, and now I'm going to hit next and hold to one. So you want to hold it down. You want to follow uh, the instructions on what it says. Until it starts jailbreaking it. Okay, so I'll just kind of hold my iPod Touch right here in uh, sight. Uh, don't worry about what it's doing. It everyone who's jailbroken you know that uh, this thing hap it takes time okay so um, I've noticed that 
with wallpaper and multitasking. The multitasking doesn't completely work uh, correctly, but the and the wallpaper it's only that rain wallpaper. You cannot choose a different one. Uh, just to let you know that. Of course, if unless you use um, like Winterboard. So as you can see, it's a uh, okay. I'll hit okay. So finish uh, here. It's installing bundles right now. It's almost done. Okay, so it's syncing file system, and it reboots. And as you can see, it's loading up. Um, it works just fine. It works with all the other apps, along with all the uh, Jailbroken and Cydia ones. Um, uh, how I got the my iPod Touch to look like an iPhone. Uh, downloaded OpenSSH, SSH'd into it, uh, did a little file changing in it, and uh, pretty much it. So, as it loads up here, okay, and I'll just slide to unlock. And as you can see, there is my jailbroken device. Um, Everything's a little different with it because I do not, I, uh, well, who has changed, of course. Um, I have to redo the, uh, file system stuff, but that's, anyway. Uh, you get all your, you get all your stuff, you can, uh, let's open up Cydia here, and as you can see, Cydia loads up just fine. So this has been Twinkie1262. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.